Hey y'all, welcome back for a what's for dinner video. I know it's been a while, but today I've got three really yummy meals for you guys. They're all pretty easy to put together, but taste really, really good. So I am excited to share them with you. If you like what's for dinner videos and grocery hauls, then make sure you're subscribed and like this video, but let's get on into cooking. Tonight we're gonna make a really easy taco pie and the kids are outside with Travis. So I've got a fairly quiet house so I thought I would just go ahead and talk this one through. It's super quick anyway, instead of doing a voiceover. So I've got some ground beef and the oven preheated to 375. We've got one can of crescent rolls. We got some taco seasoning for the taco meat, half a cup of sour cream. We're gonna make like a little sour cream and taco sauce mixed together to put over it. Um, so that's half a cup of sour cream and then one fourth a cup of taco sauce. Then I've got a cup of shredded cheese. We've got lettuce to top it with in the fridge. You could do tomatoes, olives, whatever you like to top yours with would be fine. And then while it's cooking in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up some onions and get those like caramelized kind of because I really think that's really good on taco things as well. So this is what we are gonna have for supper tonight. Let's get started. So I went ahead and sprayed my pie plate. I'm gonna go ahead and take each one of these out individually and put them in the triangle shapes around here and then kind of pinch them together. may not be the prettiest, but I think I got the job done. <laughs> now while my ground beef is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in the oven on 375 for about 10 or 11 minutes. It's been 10 minutes, I went ahead and took it out and it rose quite high, so I poked some holes with it with a fork. And if I would've thought, I probably would've done that before I baked it, so I'd probably suggest that. And so I just flattened it down a little bit. Now we're gonna add the ground beef and the cup of cheese and then stick it back in the oven for another like eight to 10 minutes. I'm actually gonna save a little bit of this ground beef for the kids because I don't know that they're gonna eat this, but I know that they'll eat tacos and I've got some tortillas, so. And while that is in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and mix my half a cup of sour cream with fourth a cup of taco sauce. So I know I've asked this question a long time ago when I was only doing real time videos, like when I would talk with every What's For Dinner video. But now that you guys have heard me do voiceovers and talking in person, which do you prefer or do you care at all? I would love to hear your opinion down below. Like today it was just easier to do like an in-person in real time video. So that's what I'm doing. And honestly, sometimes voiceovers make me procrastinate. So um, I would just love to hear you guys' thoughts on that. Definitely looking done after eight minutes. Now we're gonna spread on our sour cream mixture here. And then you just top it how you want. I'll probably just do the caramelized onions on mine and Travis's part. Y'all, here's my slice after I've taken a bite with the onions on it. And I clearly have a ton of them. Maybe I'm crazy or maybe I'm genius, but I love them. They're so good. But y'all, this is amazing. That sauce absolutely makes, makes it. I've had taco pies before, but this one, top notch. For this first recipe, we're gonna make a pretty simple broccoli and cheese soup that tastes really good. For the first thing I've got, I've got two bags of broccoli florets. They're the 12 ounce. We've got some salt and pepper, two cloves of garlic, some butter, cornstarch. We've got some heavy whipping cream, chopped up carrots, some chicken broth, onions, and then also the cheese. 
The first thing I did was turn the Instant Pot to saute function and let that heat up for a little bit. Add my butter and onion and saute that until the onion was a little bit tender and translucent. After the onion cooked for just a minute, I went ahead and added the garlic in there. Two cloves of garlic is how much I used. Feel free to add a little more or a little less depending on how you like that. Then just let that cook for another minute. After that, I added in four cups of chicken broth. You could also use vegetable broth if you would rather. And then add in both bags of broccoli, the carrots. And for the carrots, I grated um, just two carrots, pretty much made a cup of carrots. And so I added that in there as well. And then the salt, pepper. For the salt, I did a fourth a teaspoon of salt and then a fourth a teaspoon of black pepper. But then at the end, you can kind of, you know, gauge that to your liking and add what you want to it. Then after I got everything in there, I closed the Instant Pot, sealed it, made sure it was sealing, and then cooked it for one minute. Once it was pressurized and started cooking, I went ahead and mixed together my little cornstarch slurry to thicken it up. And that was just one fourth a cup of cornstarch and one fourth a cup of water. And then it was time to get the soup out. So I let all of the air out, stirred it around, and then that is when you want to go ahead and turn it back to saute. Slowly added in that cornstarch slurry. And then after you get it all added very slowly, you want to just keep stirring it until it boils and thickens. Once it starts boiling good, you can go ahead and turn off the Instant Pot, and that's when you'll start adding in the um, heavy whipping cream. You also want to add that slowly while stirring it. It was already starting to look really good at this point, but then you get to start adding the cheese just a handful at a time. I did about two to two and a half cups of shredded sharp cheddar cheese. And you know, again, use a little more, a little less, whatever you think you would prefer. Then just gradually stir that all in until it's nice and melted. And then that is it. That's all there is to the soup. It's pretty easy, like I said. Um, and you can adjust the flavors, more salt, pepper, that sort of thing. If I made it again, I would probably add a little bit more garlic cloves to it just because that's the kind of flavor that we really like added to ours because I did end up adding a little bit of garlic powder after it was done and we just served it with some bread. Tonight we're going to make some really easy pizza sliders. So for this, I've just got a pack of King's Hawaiian rolls. I've already cut them in half and I've got the bottoms in a pan that I did spray and my tops just laying over here to the side until I get this done. We've got some pizza sauce, pepperonis, use any kind of cheese you want, sliced, fresh, whatever, but I'm just using some shredded mozzarella and then we'll make some kind of little topping with some butter, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, and Parmesan cheese to spread on top as well. First thing I'm going to do is Use any kind of pizza sauce or like marinara, uh, pasta sauce, whatever you want. I'm using this squirt bottle of pizza sauce here and we're just going to put some all over our, just a little bit here. Feel free to use as much or as little as you want for these. Woo. Then I'll go in and spread it out with a brush all over the bottoms. We've got a bunch of boys here. The cousins are over. Me and my brother's been trading off once a week. And today is my day. So we're going to have some of these. And I think they will like them. I hope so anyway. Then do, I mean you could really be versatile if you want with any kind of toppings. But we're just going to do some pepperoni and cheese. Again, use as many or as little as you want. I wanted to get some deli sliced pepperoni, but they didn't have any, so I'm using what I have. I love sliders of all kinds. If you like sliders, feel free to let me know in the comments down below what kind is your favorite. If you have a recipe, that's even better. I would love to try some. Maybe even feature them in a video. <laughs> When you get all your toppings on, you just want to put your rolls back on. I'm going to melt about half a stick of butter for the topping and then add a little bit of seasoning to taste and rub it on top. Ok 
Okay, here it is on all the kids' plates. And I don't think I mentioned this. I think I actually even said supper. Um, we're actually having this for lunch. I did intend this meal to be for supper, but since they're over, I just thought it'd be something that they would like. And their boys have more than ours because they always eat more. We just did some random stuff with them. We got strawberries and some of our favorite, like that seasoned frozen broccoli that we really love. And you can probably hear the dryer go or the washer going in the background, sorry. Um, but these look and smell really good. I'm excited to try them. And I'll put on the screen how we liked them. But this is what we're gonna have. Still a great supper idea. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry it's been so long since I've had a What's For Dinner video out, but it should get back to normal now that school's starting. But I hope you guys have a good day and that you enjoy the video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.